Today we are making pizzas with a new pizza dough recipe using my Gosney Rock Box. Now we're going to have to start a day early with something called Poolish. What's Poolish? Poolish is a pre-ferment to make your dough taste soft and crunchy. Anyway, what goes in the Poolish? 300 grams of zero zero flour, 300 mils of water, 5 grams of dry yeast and around 5 grams of honey. Stir that around for about 5 minutes and then cover it up, leave that rest for about one hour to get to room temperature and then chuck it in the fridge for 24 hours. Now this Poolish is ready. So first off for this recipe, we're gonna get a bigger bowl, put the Poolish in the bigger bowl. We're gonna get 400 mils of water, dissolve the Poolish in there, 25 grams of salt. Because you've used already 300 grams of zero zero flour, then just slowly add in the remaining 700 grams. Mix it all up. Once we've got that mixed up, we can now get ready to knead. Now don't worry, you know, this is gonna be really sticky, but you know, the methods are just keep kneading it. You wanna get it all together, you wanna activate that gluten. It's quite therapeutic, really. Now this is really important. Once you've been kneading for about 15 minutes, cover it for a further 15 minutes and the gluten will really start to work. Anyway, trust me, see you in 15. Get a bit of olive oil, mix that with your hands and you'll see how the gluten has worked. See how it's nice and smooth. Roll it into a bowl. Put a bit of olive oil in a big bowl. Then pick up the dough, plonk it down. And now, you wanna cover that. Bloody glad wrap. I tell you, glad wrap and olive oil. Doesn't really work. Cover that off. So then you just wanna leave that to rest for one to two hours and let it rise. And then we can make some dough balls. Okay, so now that's been resting for two hours. Time to roll some dough balls. Oil on the hands. It's risen quite a fair bit. Now you get your good friend paint scraper. Oil both sides on that. You've got the dough in your hands and then you can put like one hand like that. And then that just sort of rounds it off you can plonk it down on the ground and then shape it. It's really simple. It took me a while to learn. <laughs> well, it was your best friend. Thanks, Brother Charles. Okay, plonk that down. So you, now you've got those seven pizzas. Let them prove for about an hour, maybe two, and then we're making pizzas. So first off, we're gonna try the fig and fennel pizza. So now I've got a bowl of semolina here, and what you do is you just sort of plonk that down, put a bit of semolina out on your board, put down the top, no rolling pin. All you wanna do is push in your fingers. You wanna push all the air out in the side. Just gonna put it on the peel, so you put a bit of semolina on here. So this pizza starts off with a few figs. So get some goat's cheese next. Roasted fennel here. Get some mozzarella. Now pizza is topped. Let's uh, get ready for launch. So put it in here. And that's how it is. This pizza oven cooks pizzas in around 60 seconds to two minutes. So you gotta get ready to turn it. Now finish with some fennel prawns. Okie dokie, let's dig in. Now this pizza's got everything. It's got the sweetness of the figs. It's got that beautiful roasted fennel. It's got the walnuts, the fennel fronds, the goat's cheese mixed so well with the mozzarella. Anyway guys, thanks for watching Panda's Cafe and I'll see you next time.